Hello and welcome to the United Stand. This is our top five Manchester United youth players 2018. We did this a couple of years ago and it went down really well. Just remember, it's subjective. This is my top five, to be honest. I want you to give your top five below. Give us your reasons why, because I know there's a lot of different sort of uh, experience levels around the youth team. Some of you, it will just be brand new information. Some of you very much into it. So get your comments in below. In at number five for me is Mason Greenwood. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of this lad. Only 16, not 17. 17 till later in the year. Virtually a goal a game uh, for him last season. Um, I, th I think 17 goals in 19 appearances or something like that. So very, very exciting. Should be going on the US tour. And with the lack of attacking options we've got with no Lukaku, Rashford or Fellaini, hopefully he will get a few minutes. And that will be the interesting part of this US tour. I know a lot of people are unhappy about the amount of signings we've made at the moment. But there's a lot of youth potentially going on the tour. And hopefully Jose will use them instead of using the Deadwood like Daly Blind and Darmy and who we know have got no future. So Mason Greenwood, what's he all about? Well, some people have said he's the most two-footed player we've had in our youth setup for a long, long time. Wand of a left foot's been used. Not by me, that's my phrase with James Rodriguez, but I'm more than happy to give it up to a player in the youth setup. So um, he's quick, he's got a lot of development still to do. If you think about someone like Marcus Rashford, who realistically could be in this top five himself, uh, who's only 20, and, and Greenwood's got four years younger than him, so he's got a lot of development still to do body-wise, running style. Started off as a sort of midfielder, attacking midfielder, but is really developing into a forward who can score goals. Very, very exciting and certainly somebody to keep an eye on in the coming years. Just And, and being a forward as well, you never know with forwards that maybe they might get an opportunity in a, in a Carabao Cup game or an FA Cup game. So keep your eye on him and keep your eye on him in the US Tour. Very, very exciting talent at Manchester United. Uh, now the next player I want to discuss, if I can see it, is here. Dimitri Mitchell. Now he may be a little bit, um, a bit of a controversial one and I'm sure not many many of you will have him in your top five because you'll be talking about others. But uh, Dimitri Mitchell um, played in that Crystal Palace game at the end of last se the season before last. Went on the US tour but didn't get a look in. I really like him. Now he's a forward who's been uh, who's adapted into a left back. Um, he can play further forward but as a left back I think he'd be quite a good option for Manchester United. Now we know Ashley Young on the tour so maybe he might get a game because we're playing games every couple of days. So hopefully he will get an opportunity there and Blind and Darmian won't because this is what we need to look at. He went on loan to Hearts last season in Scotland. He did quite well. Um, he's 20, what, he tur already turned 21. He was 21 in January so he's not the youngest but think about McTominay a lot of people think he's 17 18 he's not he's in his early 20s as well so there's still an opportunity for this lad Mourinho has to give him some game time and see what he's all about I think a loan might come from it but he's quick all right he's a little bit um, you know he's not that not the tallest but left backs full backs weren't traditionally tall anyway he's quick he can put a tackle in and he's got good attributes going forward so I like Mitchell and I'm, I mean it's sort of the last I wouldn't say it's the last chance saloon for him but hopefully either a decent Premier League loan or get involved in the first team. I like him and, and that's why I've put him in my top five. And now this at number three is going to be a little bit left field and I'm sure some people will be saying, oh, there's much better players you could have put in the top five than uh, Aloha Traore, who we got from PSG. He was training with us last summer, but he officially became a United player and signed a new a professional contract. I think it was in January time. 17 uh, years of age, but really really high thought of if you listen to people like Nicky Butt and, and, and people around the youth setup there's he's not going to be on the tour he's not going to be on the US tour he's gone away with the with the with the youth setup they're already on their own individual tour at the moment so he's not going to be on tour but a, a fantastic I mean again um a bit like Greenwood very young but a player that is plays midfield box to box very very powerful the word, Paul, the word Paul Pogba has been used in relation to him, which I think is you know totally unfair because he, I think he's, he's he's more powerful, he's more he's better in the tackle, uh, he's more dynamic than Pogba. I think Pogba can be that player, which sounds ridiculous for somebody who's about to play in a World Cup final. But this guy is really really exciting. We got him from PSG, and uh, yeah, very very exciting development player. Definitely, you know, don't want to don't want to say too much about him, but. I think he would fit the Premier League style like a glove. Very fast, very powerful, uh, good on the ball, box to box, and certainly one to keep an eye on for the future. So I, I really rate this guy and certainly would put him in my top five. And I know there's players that people are going to say, well, why have you not put him? I mean, a young lad I really, write, really, really like, Ethan Lard, who's a fullback, and he's not going to be on the uh, tour either. He's gone away with Traore, with the, with the younger lads. But I really like him. I think he's a fantastic uh, youth setup player. And uh, only 16 years of age as well. So a few years off, but I think he's fantastic. 
Ethan Hamilton uh, just signed a new uh, signed a professional contract in the last few days. Very tall, very Scott McTominay. I think Mourinho will use a lot of him next season. Callum Gribben, we mention him a lot. He's not made my top five. Uh, we mention Callum Gribben a lot. Very, very talented player. Um, I don't think he's going to be on the US tour. For some reason, he's had a few injuries. He doesn't seem to just be able to make that next step. He's trained with the first team. Um, uh, can play off the wings, can play in the number 10 position, but doesn't seem to be able to make that jump into the first team squad and doesn't look like he's going to be on the US tour, but a player that's been mentioned for a long, long time. And then, well, I mean, Roshan Williams, I really like him as a centre-back. Um, again, um, I mean, there's not a lot of difference between him and Twan Sibi. Twan Sibi's had the... the um, the um, sort of status he went on loan to Villa, and I liked Twan CB. And, and you know what? I've, I've, I haven't put Roshan Williams in there. Twenty years of age, very fast, good centre back. I haven't put Twan CB in there. I haven't put Fozu Mender in there. I haven't put Andreas Pereira in there. Marcus Rashford. They're all youth set up players, and they're all still very young. But I've, I've sort of taken them out of that equation because I feel that they've they've moved beyond that. They've they've already taken the steps towards the first team, so they're not in there. Um, but let's let, without further ado, let's go to number two, and it is Angel Gomez. I don't think there's going to be any surprises there in relation to um, Angel Gomez. Um, fantastic talent. He's only going to be 18 in August, and uh, a lot of people will know a lot about this lad. Again, a uh, bit like Greenwood, he can use both feet really well. I mean, yes, he's a bit small. But Xavi was small, Iniesta's small, it doesn't make any bloody difference. Verratti's very small, Fred's small, doesn't matter that he's small. What he is, is an amazing young uh, English talent. You know, you know, England might be out of the World Cup, but they've got some good players coming through. Um, very, very good talent, uh, can play in the number 10 position. Magician, uh, great off both feet, creates things, can score goals. And he's going to be on the US tour. So hopefully we're going to see some more minutes. I mean, the, the sad thing about Gomez, and I will call Mourinho out on this a little bit. I'm all about the youth. Well, it was McTominay last season. And uh, you know what? McTominay didn't play that much last, last last season. Anyway, let's have it. Let's call it honestly. He did get involved in the first team, but he then he left it and, and wasn't really involved in the last few weeks. So um, Gomez. Um, Came on for Rooney iconically in that last game against Crystal Palace the season before last. Last season, I don't think he played 20 minutes uh, combined. Uh, I know he came on against Yeovil. He had that little run in the last 10 minutes. But he needs more game time. I'm not sure whether he's ready to be going on loan to a championship club. I don't think he'd get a Premier League club at the moment. But I certainly want to see him getting more minutes for Manchester United. And going on the US tour would be, would be fantastic for him. But my number one, it would be no shock to anyone that Tahith Chong is my number one. He is the young player that excites me the most. He can play off the right midfield, right wing. That's where he plays the most. But he can play number 10. He can play off the left wing. More left-footed than right, but plays off the right. Good on, Very good on both feet. Glides a tackle, rides a tackle. Um, really, really exciting player. Uh, but had a very bad, bad injury in 2017 on the knee. He came back from it late in 2017. And then 2018, really got involved in the youth setup. Was knocking on the door for the first team. Uh, did very well for the under-23s, who didn't actually have a very good season. Stepped up for the under-23s, did really well for them. Really, really exciting winger. And I think, I mean, the one thing I wanted to say, and, and it's been worth hanging around for this is that when you're talking about people like Tahith Chong, he's 19 in December, so he's 18 and a half. Um, traditionally, high, highly talented youngsters are playing more games for their first team. And I think this is where Mourinho is missing a little bit of a trick with Gomez and Chong, is I think that they should be getting more minutes. I'm not saying they should be starting games, but they should be getting more minutes. You look at how Sir Alex Ferguson did it. He was playing people like Giggs from 17 um, and, and a lot of the younger players as well. I think, they need, I think Chong needs to be playing for the first team. Not regularly, but he needs to be getting game time. He's ready. He's going to be 19 in December. He's nearly six foot. Um, he can ride a tackle. He's skillful. He runs with the ball. He can create things. He's ready in my mind. And I think when I go through my top five, you know, Greenwood and Traore probably not ready yet, but Gomez and, and Mitchell and uh, Chong definitely should be involved in the first team. And I think when I look at somebody like a, a Pochettino, I'm not going to use Pep because he's, he's not using the youth either, but I think Pochettino would probably be using Mitchell. 21, um, left back, he'd probably be using a player like that. I think he'd have Chong involved. And, and yeah, I mean, Chong's going to be on the US tour as well, so you can make your own mind up on that. But yeah, very, very exciting times at Manchester United. We've got a lot of young players coming through. There's a lot of names I haven't even mentioned, that, and I'm going to really look forward 
forward to looking in the comments below to see what your top five is and why you've gone with that top five. For me, Greenwood's just, you know, 16 and, and fresh and exciting, and let's see where he's going to go. Chong and Gomez are a little bit older. They're on that journey, not in the first team yet. Need to be involved in the next year or so. Uh, Dimitri Mitchell, I mean, is coming towards, you know, is he going to make it or is he going to go elsewhere? Probably he's going to go elsewhere. Probably not going to get that opportunity, but I really like him, and I think he should have been given opportunities at a left back. And Traore, a bit like Greenwood, is one for the future, but he's one to be aware of. He's one to keep your eye on because as a box to box midfielder, he's ridiculously powerful. He's still only 17 and he can be really good. And as I said, there's players that haven't made it that I, I really like as well. And there's players who aren't in there who probably should be in there. You could even put Marcus Rashford in there. You could put Twan CB in there, but I purposely haven't put those players in because we all know about those and hopefully they're already on the path. Anyway, please do drop a like on the video. Give us your comments below. Who's your top five? And uh, we're back tonight at 8 o'clock. Remember, it's 8 o'clock tonight. No World Cup games tonight, so we're back at 8 o'clock. Please do drop a like on the video. And uh, if you haven't seen Transfer Daily this morning, there is uh, an eye in the top right-hand corner for you to watch it. Speak to you all soon.